This is a great moment because I know that I prefer to call your company an urban air mobility company. And you've added some things that I think are terrific. But one of the things I want to just get up right, right off the bat is when you started this company, you do not plan on 2026, 20, 2027 20, profitability. This is a real company with real earnings that could happen rather quickly, isn't it? No, it really is, Jim. Uh, you know, we may be flying uh, helicopters uh, today, but we're not a, a helicopter company. And we're building the entire ecosystem for urban air mobility today from the terminals that you actually go into to get on your flight where we do security, health and safety, and baggage assessment, to a technology stack that goes from consumer to cockpit, uh, our marketing, our roots, our branding, and all of our customers uh, as well. And we're doing that in the U.S., we're doing that now in Canada, and we're also doing it uh, for moving human organs uh, for transplant uh, with our partner hospitals. And we're doing that both or building this organically and by uh, acquisition. Uh, and we're doing this right now at 22% flight margins. And uh, I know that you tell your viewers to invest in profitable companies. You know, profitability is a choice for us. Uh, we can do that with our mature roots, but we're choosing to grow. And over the past uh, quarter, we had about uh, a little bit over a million dollar adjusted EBITDA loss. So, uh, you know, profitability in terms of our core business really is at hand. Well, Rob, I think it's important for people to understand. And a lot of people at one point think, oh, it's a Hampton service, whatever. I look, and I have used Blade and been a good customer. But one of the things that occurs to me is that anywhere where there's a traffic jam, where you want to get to something, anywhere where it's just literally a short distance on the Eastern Corridor or other places, fans want to travel. But fans know if they miss the first quarter of a game, then they didn't go to the game. Isn't it possible that you guys could run variable routes and make money every time that you did one of those routes, if you price it correctly, for all over the country? Absolutely. Our job is to find high friction routes. Routes that take a long time by car, short time by helicopter that are priced effectively. That could be going to the airport uh, for $195 in five minutes instead of uh, a two-hour drive, say, from Manhattan on the west side to Kennedy. It could be flying to uh, UBS Stadium from New York for a game, just like you said, or going to Philadelphia uh, to see your favorite teams. Uh, so whenever there's friction, events, airport, city congestion, if we can see that dynamic between reducing friction on the road uh, that you have in terms of time saved and do it on a cost-effective basis, we'll do it. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.